The film begins with a scene that shows a man awakens from his unconsciousness. If you look closely, this man looks like he just had an accident. He also looked around, but there was no light at all. In other words, he and his car were buried in the ground. Well, you can imagine how it feels to wake up in the dark like this. The car doors also couldn't be opened at all because they were blocked by the mass of soil. In a panic, he tried to call 911, but his cell phone signal was also not connected at all. Likewise with the radio in the car. He tried to search for frequency bands, but still nothing was detected. Then, he tried to start the car engine, but it turned out that the car that was protecting him couldn't start. Elias broke down. Not long after, there was a shake that caused the car to move deeper and deeper. He assumed that if there was a shake like this, it meant he wasn't buried in the flat ground. He also recorded himself as a form of information in case he was not saved. Feelings of pessimism and resignation to the situation of course fell on him, who did not know what to do. He hopes that soon the rescue team will find out about this incident as soon as possible. At that time, the clock showed 1 p.m., which should still be possible for him to be saved. While drawing his route, he tried to remember what happened. At first everything was fine on the trip, but there was one incident that suddenly happened to him, which caused him to got buried there. Then he noticed something, his car's sunroof had begun to crack as a result of the immense soil pressure. Of course this is not a good thing since he can only stay in the car and couldn't go anywhere. Even the car's air conditioning can only release dust. Red ants also started getting into his car through the air can hole. Therefore, he taped the air can hole quickly to prevent the more ants from entering the car. After that, he became even more panicked because there is still no sign that he will be saved. In a state of resignation to the situation, he also watched the video recording on his cell phone. In the video, you can see his fiance, Lori. And from here, it was discovered that this man's name was Jack. After that, he plans to just sleep while saving his cell phone battery. Long story short, Jack had woken up from his sleep and he realized that it was already 8 p.m. It means he's been waiting underground for about 8 hours. But there's still no sign of help to come. Jack, who was getting more and more congested, tried to find an opening so he could breathe. When he opened the car window, all the dirt outside spilled and went inside. The texture of the soil that polluted him was still wet and soft. From this it is certain that the incident that happened to him was a landslide. On the other hand, the cracks on his car's roof seemed to be getting wider. Then, Jack immediately patched the glass with a tape he found in his car. He used the steering lock to withstand the soil's pressure. Fortunately, Jack's method works well. He just had one bottle of mineral water in his car as a source of water. Without realizing it, Jack drank all the water until it ran out. He was so thirsty that he forgot it was the only source of water he had at the time. As the time went on, only a miracle can bring him safe. As a result, Jack took the time to pray right then and there. When he finished, he realized that just praying was not enough, but he also had to do his best to get out from there. Then, Jack checked the back seat of his car and saw a lot of stuff he could use. In a situation like this, he should be able to do something as much as possible with the tools he has. The first thing Jack did was drink the water dripping from the soil. He didn't care anymore what the mixture was made of. Then he also purposefully made a small hole in the glass while collecting the dripping water with an empty drinking water bottle. It was so bad that Jack who needed to pee had no choice but to pee in his own car. Then he used parts from the folding chair to make some iron too. At that moment, Jack make another hole in the sunroof in his car with a small knife. with the aim that the iron tube could penetrate all the way to the top to keep the tube straight jack took a bottle cap and punch a hole in it and tied it with rope however the hunger that attacked jack's stomach forced him to eat first even though he only have a biscuit it still means a lot in this situation for drinking he only relies on water mixed with soil that he has accommodated after he finished eating jack immediately pushed the tube slowly through the soil All the tubes he had were tied together with ropes so they could penetrate the soil. The oxygen levels were running low, causing he couldn't take it any more. So Jack had to make a hole in order to breathe. 
it's getting harder and harder to push the tube through to the surface. Even in a weak and hungry condition, Jack had to keep exerting as much energy as possible. After that, he immediately checked the depth level with the iron wire he had. It turned out that the distance between the ground and Jack's position was approximately 3 meters, then he shouted as loudly as possible, in the hope that someone would hear his voice. At the same time, he also breathed through that hole. Then, Jack had the idea of making this tube function as a chimney, with the aim that the smoke that comes out of the ground will be seen by others. However, the fire that Jack made with paper got out of control. But fortunately, the fire was still able to be extinguished as quickly as possible. When Jack wanted to peek through the hole he made, suddenly there was a shake, and Jack's head hit the iron. Not long after, Jack had woken up with his wounded head. At that moment, he took off his shirt and belt as a bandage to stop the bleeding. Due to the heavy bleeding, Jack could only sit limply, thinking of ways to survive. A few hours later, the wound on Jack's head was visible oozing pus. Well, it's obvious that the wound on his head was infected. But then there was another shake, and the back of the car started to collapse. Jack had no choice but to use the remaining tube to hold the back of his car. Then, Jack who was too thirsty was finally willing to take his own urine, as a source of minerals. There's no more disgust when it's like this. He doesn't care no matter how it feels like, the important thing is that his thirst can be overcome. The remaining biscuit crumbs were also eaten by Jack. Well, even it's just crumbs, it's still worth it. Then, Jack took a tire and connected it to the pump hose. With the aim that he can keep breathing by relying on the air from the tires. Eventually, Jack planned to dig up the ground above him, and try his best to get out from there. He also slathered oil all over his body, to keep it slick when it penetrated through the hard soil. This decision was purposefully taken by Jack, in order to be able to survive alive. Although he had no idea if this would work or not. In order not to be too tense, Jack still managed to put on some music at that time. At that moment, he smashed the glass on the roof of his car, allowing the soil above him to fall. With this, Jack realized he could no longer rely on his car for protection. The soft soil began to harden, and was immediately moved by Jack to the back of the car. While carrying the weight of the car tires, he attempted to slowly dig up the soil. The dug ground began to fall gradually. After a long time of digging, Jack began to be able to stand above of his car. On the other hand, the remaining air in the tires is becoming thinner. Unexpectedly, there was a shake for the umpteenth time, and made Jack's whole body covered by dirt. Amazingly, there is still a slight movement, indicating that Jack is still alive. Come to think of it, it was really hard to survive if being buried like that. But we need to remember, at the beginning of the film, Jack still had time to pray before taking all the actions. After a long time, he managed to reach the ground and began to see sunlight. In the end, he managed to survive and regain his sense of well-being. And the film ended. Okay guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video. To change your